Good morning, it's 10 o'clock in Pleasant Valley, Saturday, December 4th. I have uh, some quilts to show you again. It's been a while, but my arm is much better. Um, uh, the first one I have to show you, it's uh, called Indian Summer, Black Summer Sunflowers Quilt, a Needle Love Exclusive Kit. The quilt design was by Karen Walker of Laugh Yourself Into Stitches. Um, my friend Renee Nanon is just so fabulous on putting colors together and I just absolutely love this quilt. And the pattern is, of course, like I said, by Karen Walker with Laugh Yourself Into Stitches. This one is called Conestoga Quilts. It's um, by Terry Thompson. This is a really old pattern and I was really happy to finally get it done. I just love the golds and the reds and the black. This one is called Chocolate. I think it might have been a block of the month. Um, just love all the colors and all the different blocks. I did design the sashing. I wanted something just a little bit different to make it larger. I think it turned out really well. And then I did put a nice back on it. Mimics the uh, cornerstones. This is my <laughs> thing I hang, hung it from because it was in a quilt show at um, Crown Center years and years ago. A couple of years ago, one of the uh, retreats I was at, one of the ladies, Donna, challenged us all to do uh, this Baltimore Blues quilt. They, you didn't have to do the whole quilt, you just had to even do one block, but I, of course, did the whole quilt. And this Baltimore Blues quilt is by Barbara Brackman. Okay. And this is the back of this one. The first two, I didn't have a, anything particular on the back, so I didn't show those. It's this quilt is a quilt designed by uh, Becky Cogan with uh, the help of um, Renee Nademan at Needle Love. It's called Kelowna Cotton Hourglass Quilt. If you ever have a chance to order kits from uh, Needle Love, she's very generous with her, her fabric. And I had enough to make this small pillow to go with the quilt. just sewed some of the strips that were left from her kit. Like I told you, she's pretty generous with her kits. is called Pink Lemonade and it is by Laundry Basket Quilts uh, and it was back from 2010. I finally got it done and this pattern I had it all together and I had it laid out on the floor and I posted it on Facebook before I quilted it <laughs> and one of the ladies uh, commented that I had one of the squares turned right, wrong. So it's always good to take pictures of your quilt because you can notice flaws. So I took that out and then, and then I, at the time I noticed another one. So I was able to fix all the <laughs> problems I had and got it quilted and then this is the back. Just, uh, uh, just a big nine patch. Okay, this quilt is called Flirty Fabulous Chevron Quilt. 
It was uh, also designed by Becky Cogan. Uh, she's a real good friend of Renee Nanneman's and mine also. She does a lot of designing for Renee with Needle Love. And um, this is really a fun, pretty easy quilt to put together. Flirty Fabulous Chevron Quilt. And the back is just a whole bunch of pieces sewn together. I think it was just uh, with the fabric. But it makes a cute back. This is a kit I got from uh, Needle Love. Uh, it was designed by Amy Newman. It's called Walk About Time. And it was also fun to put together. Easier than you would think it would be. And here's the fun back. This is a quilt from Needle Love, a kit I got from her. Um, it was designed by Renee Nanneman and Amy Newman. It's called Linen Stars. And it's, it's, I really love this quilt, even though there's not a whole lot of difference in the colors, but it's just a very low volume quilt that could go with just about anything. And the back is, just some of the strips, again, that was left over from her kit. This is a quilt, quilt that I did for a sample quilt for a quilt shop I used to work for uh, called Liberty Quilt Shop. And the name of the pattern is Nana's Big Quilts, Little Quilts and Labels. It's designed by Beth Little with Four Corners Designs. And I just love this quilt. I love the ribbon border and the sawtooth edge. I think this was the very first time I used those uh, thangles. This is a quilt called Rose Dream that I pieced for my very good friend Julie Kiffin when she owned the Liberty Quilt Shop in Liberty, Missouri. It was uh, published in the Kansas City Quilt Makers Portraits and Patterns book by Doug Wargle and it was uh, one of the Kansas City Star books. And I always called this the quilt from hell. <laughs> Mainly because working with those wovens on a curve were just not much fun. But I do love this quilt. It uh, just absolutely beautiful. And uh, three, three or four quilts didn't have it back. This is one of them that didn't have a piece back. But um, anyway, I. These are just some kits that I had or things I did for quilt shop uh, for samples and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope to have another one soon. I'm working on some more quilts, of course. I've got some uh, more scrap quilts and I'm, I decided now to take a break from scraps and work on some kits. So I should have some, <laughs> some more quilts real soon. So hopefully you have a great holiday we shall, and uh, Merry Christmas. Bye.